Mike Callahan, Dr. Filefinder, and welcome to part 10 of our special Butterscotch.com 10-part series on Windows Live Messenger. Now in this last segment, I'm going to look at a few of the nifty extras that I couldn't touch on in the earlier segments. One, over here, click on the menu. Under Contacts, you'll find that you can both save all of your instant messaging contacts to a file, and then you can import them into another copy of Messenger on another computer, send it to a friend. Under Actions, we've talked about calling your friend's phone, but you can also call their computer through their copy of Windows Live Messenger. You can also play a game. And you do this by click Play a Game, select a contact. Now I know John's not available, but it'll at least show you what happens. And it opens up a instant messaging box, and you've picked a game that you can play together. Another nifty extra is you can configure Windows Live Messenger to always be on top. You can go in and configure all of the emoticons. You can pin them so they stay in place. And I wanted to point out that it also shows you here how you can make these emoticons with the keyboard so you don't have to click on it to put it in. So if you look underneath each one, it'll show you what characters you type in in order to get the desired emoticon. So that's kind of a nifty extra. Under Tools, you can dis change the display picture. You can do winks. And there are some default winks that you can send to family and friends. You can also change your default color. You see now mine's blue, now it's red. So there are lots of configurable options in Windows Live Messenger. You can edit your mobile settings, edit your MSN Direct settings if you have MSN Direct, and you can also look at your billing information. So this is Windows Live Messenger. It's a full featured product. It integrates beautifully with Windows Live. And that concludes part 10.